Hi boys and girls, I am going to show you a quick little review on how we subtract two digit numbers. So our first problem here is 25 minus 11. Just like we did with addition, you're going to draw your line down in between those numbers. You're going to label your ones place and your tens place, and I hope you remember that we always start in our ones place. So we're gonna look at five minus one. If I'm not sure how to do five minus one, I have strategies that I can use to help me. I could use fingers as long as I have enough. I could draw circles and cross them out. I could use manipulatives like toys or marbles or things like that at home. But for right now, I'm gonna use circles. So remember that whenever we're doing subtraction or we're doing takeaway, you're gonna start with your bigger number. So I'm gonna draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm only taking away one, so I'm going to cross one circle out. I have one, two, three, four left, so five minus one equals four. Then I'm going to move over to my tens place, and I'm going to do two minus one. Two minus one equals one, so 25 minus 11 equals 14. Let's do a couple more. 48 minus 35. I'm going to draw my line down ones place and tens place. Starting in my ones place, I have eight minus five. I'm gonna draw circles to help me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to take five away. One, two, three, four, five. That leaves me with one, two, three circles left. Eight minus five equals three. In my tens place, I have four minus three, which equals one. My next problem, I have 76 minus 42. Coming over into my, my ones place, I am going to do six minus two. Now, boys and girls, you do not have to draw circles if you already remember what six minus two equals or any of those numbers. Those circles, drawing the circles and crossing them out is only an option if you need help. All right, so six minus two equals four and seven minus four equals three. So 76 minus 42 equals 34. This week, you're going to come up with 10 subtraction problems on your own, just like we did with the addition problems. We wanna make sure that we have the bigger number on top and the smaller number on the bottom. If you write your problems out like this, 99 minus 68 equals blank. I'm just gonna ask that you practice stacking your numbers up and down like this, all right? So let's solve 99 minus 68 while we're here. In my ones place, I have nine minus eight, which equals one. In my tens place, I have nine minus six, which equals three. So 99 minus 68 equals 31. Good luck making all of your problems this week. I cannot wait to see what numbers you come up with.